Hi, my name is Junger Han and this is my faculty mark assignment 2 in Nursing Administration 1 or N240 in partial fulfillment of the requirements for the degree of Master of Arts in Nursing, major in Adult Health Nursing at the University of the Philippines, Open University. Now, what are the virtues of a true leader? Are leaders born or are leaders made? Can you learn to be a leader? Let us all find out the answers to these questions and more about nursing leadership, management, and administration from a leader his herself. She is no other than my mentor, my friend, and my superior, Ms. Maria Karina M. Santos, RNMAN, the Director of Nursing Service of Davao Doctors Hospital. There is a relatively small segment of leaders in the world of healthcare, individuals who seem able to build relationships, trust, and rapport with almost anyone, and then are able to broker the relationships and make connections between people, creating partnerships and alliances, and motivating forward momentum to get things done. Maria Karina Santos is one of these people, and getting things done and driving results through collaboration, partnerships, and relationships as a senior manager in the healthcare industry is what she is all about. With an enthusiastic and genuinely friendly attitude, Mama Karina radiates a sincere passion for delivering value and benefits to her customers. Born on the 29th of September 1968, Maria Karina Manulid was one of the five children of Aida and Jose Manulid. She earned her primary and secondary diplomas at Ateneo de Davao University. Mom Karina earned her Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree at San Pedro College in 1989. She also received her Master of Arts in Nursing degree, major in Nursing Administration at Father Saturnino Urios University in 2009. She started her career as a staff nurse in Davao Doctors Hospital in 1990. She was then assigned in various nursing units until she was promoted as a nursing supervisor a clinical training coordinator, and even a director of ancillary services. In 2009, she was designated to be the director of nursing service in Davao Doctors Hospital as she has top-notch qualifications working across the entire healthcare continuum, the providers, payers, and customers. At the same time, she is also a loving wife to her husband, Mr. Edward Santos, and a nurturing mother to her two kids, Jean Paolo and Jose Gabriel. But what is absolutely clear is that she has a great deal of value to offer the right company, and while the actual job title may vary, it will almost certainly include some combination of strategic planning, operations, partnership and alliance building, account management and customer relations, marketing and fundraising. Friends, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Director of Nursing Service of Davao Doctors Hospital, Ms. Maria Karina M. Santos, RNMN. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Hi. Uh, Good morning, June. Good morning. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you for gracing this interview, ma'am. So, mm -hmm. I'm so happy that you're very cooperative in the rest of the Nursing Service Department. My pleasure, June. Okay, the questions that I made are, uh, are from the different books of mm -hmm. nursing leadership and management yes. from the internet and most especially from my colleagues here okay. in the institution Hi. yes ma'am okay. so let's start ma'am can you describe to us your typical day the typical day okay. of maria karina santos okay i wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning and mm -hmm. uh, i usually i start my day with a prayer thanking the lord for everything that he has done for me and my family and of course the nursing service department it at 7.30 a.m., I'm in the office and I start my day. <laughs> First, I have to browse on the supervisor's lab just to check on the problems that have occurred in the night shift, p.m. shift, and morning shift of yesterday. And then I also make my rounds. And then after that, I have to attend a lot of meetings. <laughs> and um, I also visit the departments during my rounds and ask them how they are and their operations. Do they have any problems? 
and I also get a chance to meet the head nurses during the head nurses meeting. So how would you describe or how would the staff and colleagues describe your leadership style? I'm more of a coach, a mentor, a motivational management style, and perhaps accessible. Ma'am, what are the most important values and ethics that you demonstrate as a leader? Yes, first and foremost, ethical behavior in all things. Fairness, humility, respect, and discipline. Can you name a person who has had a tremendous impact on you as a leader? How and why? For I should say that uh, I am fortunate that I was able to work with three directors of nurse, the president president of the hospital. Each of them, they have their own uh, skills and abilities in managing people and managing the hospital. But I believe with, um, all of them contributed a lot to where I am now and what I am now. The human as we are, we also commit mistakes or sometimes bloopers. I'd like to know ma'am, what was the worst or most embarrassing aspect of your career as a nurse or as a nurse manager? Then how would you have done things differently now? This happened years ago. I went to the ISO office and I was in white uniform, you know. And then I was looking for an SOP as a uh, reference. And um, I saw this computer chair, you know, in, the front, in front of me. And then I grabbed it and then sat on the chair. I <laughs> fell down and then flat on the floor. Flat on Imagine the floor. that wearing that white uniform. <laughs> right. And then everybody in that room was laughing. And then I was really embarrassed because. <laughs> I was in white uniform and then um, right now to correct that, every time I use a computer chair, I make sure that it is functional. Okay, this one is a very popular question these days. <laughs> what was the biggest mistake that you made as a leader <laughs> and what did you do to make it right? Every time I make a decision for the department, it's always for the good of everyone. I always make it a point that my decision would benefit the patient, the hospital, and the employees as well. And I also have this thinking in mind, when I decide on something, I should stand by it. Ma'am, let's talk about conflict management. Tell me about a time when the going get really tough. Yeah. How did you rally the staff and build morale? There's this one um, unit in the second floor where in, I felt that the nurses were the morale really went down because uh, when I was doing my rounds and also the re supervisors reported to me that their logbook, their unit logbook had these comments on the side about personnel pull out. We, we have this contingency plan about money if there's a need to add more nurses to one unit. We, have, we can pull out from other floors. Mm -hmm. And it seems that they do not understand and they really felt that they are being isolated. Parang sila nang sila yung napupula. And it's not true. So what I did was, um, I met them. I we conducted a meeting with them. It was an open communication. Everyone was uh, uh, encouraged to speak up. And I explained detail for detail. And I'm happy that after that meeting, everything was solved. I would like to ask if, how do you help a new employee understand the culture of the organization? First and foremost, you have to introduce what is several doctors. The history of the hospital should be introduced to the new uh, employees. And you have to have a very good orientation of them. It's very important. What are the methods that you have used to gain commitment for the team or from your team? Yes. Um, constant communication mm -hmm. and y you have to ensure that the communication is open between nurses, head nurses, and the uh, supervisors as well as the director. And of course, giving feedback is very important also. What are the most important decisions that you make as a leader of the organization? Promoting people. I should be cautious on promoting people that are really um, qualified for the position because being a leader is not so, an easy task. And uh, as a director, you have to have a group of leaders or managers that will really support you for the department to be successful. One of the heaviest decisions that a director should make is when a person, when a staff does not perform, yes. you have to let them go. Yeah. For me, that is the heaviest because this would entail emotions. 
How have you encouraged learning and development of the employees? I encourage them to join conf conferences, conventions, and I make sure that uh, they're also updated with the uh, trends in nursing. On top of that, we have this program in nursing wherein we send our managers, our uh, skilled nurses to trainings and uh, conferences outside Davao City. Wow. Uh, or what is the biggest challenge a leader like you face today? It's how to inculcate to them the value of good customer service. Because when you have this one, everything follows. It's a domino effect when you have good customer service. What was the most significant change or contribution that you brought about in an organization? The non-conformance reports have dropped down. Medication errors somehow. Statistics went down in a quarter run out ID. One move was to transfer personnel from one unit to another to augment the staffing needs of the other unit. Uh, the operating room. Mm -hmm. First, sometimes kasi we experience um, low census. And at that point of time, I need, uh, I, my analysis was we had so much personnel in the unit. So every time there's a resignation, um, I make sure that no refill yet. No, no nurse will be hired for that uh, position. Right now, the OR is doing well. Yes. And I'm happy to say that to you. <laughs> I know you're already a leader. Yes. yes. But I'd like to know, what are, what are you doing to ensure or that you continue to grow and develop as a leader? I should update myself of the trends in nursing. Mm -hmm. And I always make it the point that I attend conferences and meetings and uh, seminars outside. I, I have also attended seminars and conferences for safety outside the Philippines. So I was fortunate enough that I was sent by the hospital to this kind of activities. And th this will benefit, of course, the nurses in the nursing service. Mm -hmm. Mom Karina, I want to ask, mm -hmm. how do you want to be remembered as a leader? I want to be remembered as a leader that is, uh, who is principled. Mm -hmm. And I also want to be remembered as a leader who inspires people to strive hard. As a leader who inspires everyone to be driven and um, believe in themselves. And I also want to be remembered as a nurturing support to them and of course an advocate for safety. I would like to ask for um, an inspiring message to the to my fellow to our fellow nurses and aspiring leaders and managers. In all meetings that I have attended, in all speeches that I also conducted, mm -hmm. I always make it a point to tell the nurses, my audience, that if you chose to be in this profession because you would want to earn dollars or pounds, you have to think twice. Or better yet, you have to move to another profession. Because what I'm trying to say is, being in nursing, you have to love the profession. Because if you do not love our profession, you will never go far. Our nursing profession would entail a lot of commitment, dedication, hard work, and passion, which we have to keep alive and burning, coupled with humility and service to people. With that, I would like to thank you so much, ma'am, for the time that you shared me and for the cooperation, ma'am. I really appreciate it, ma'am, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> and I also would like to greet you advance happy birthday thank on September 29th. So, ma'am, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Ruan, and it is my pleasure to yes, help ma you. Thank you, And Anna, uh, thank you so much also. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, or become more, then you are a leader. You don't have to be in a position to be able. This has been Doing Your Head, and always remember, we cannot change others, but when we change ourselves, we might end up changing the world. Thank you so much for your time.